This is a quick update for the Parrot Lip Syncing add-on for Blender. Starting with Blender 4.2, Blender made some major changes to how add-ons work. This required me to rewrite a lot of the code, and the end result is a new release of Parrot, version 1.1.0. The good news is that the new engine it uses, Allosaurus, is language neutral, so it should work with any spoken language or even gibberish. The old system relied on translating audio into words and then words into phonemes, but Allosaurus skips that by translating audio directly into phonemes. If you're still using Blender 4.1 or earlier, you should still use Parrot 105. If you want to use Blender 4.2 or later, you'll need to update to Parrot 110. Installing Parrot 110 is a lot easier than previous versions. First, just like before, you'll need to install FFmpeg on your machine. FFmpeg is a general purpose audio library. The FFmpeg website has detailed installation instructions and installers for a variety of platforms. Once FFmpeg has been installed, you can install the Parrot extension into Blender. First, make sure Blender is running. Then, open the Edit Preferences menu, click on Get Extensions, Click the arrow in the top right-hand corner, select Install from Disk, and then browse to the downloaded zip file with Parrot in it. Parrot 110 has switched to the Allosaurus engine, which translates audio directly into phonemes, so there's no need to specify a particular language anymore. This rewrite also removes the option to scale poses based on the voice volume since this does not really reflect how the mouth actually moves, and it helps to simplify the code. Anyhow, Parrot still works pretty much the same way it did in earlier versions. Once you have your mouth pose library set up, select your rig, select the audio track you want to create keyframes from, and then click Render Lip Sync to Action to automatically create the action keyframes. Or, if you want to generate an NLA sequence instead, you can click Render Lip Sync to Object NLA. And that's the update. If you're using Blender 4.2 or later, you'll need to update to Parrot 110 to be able to use it. Thanks for checking out Parrot, and I hope this makes your animation tasks a little easier. Mm -hmm.